What's up guys? I'm Christine with Irene Iron Fitness. Aaron and I are traveling in New York City and we're going to share our tips with you on how to stay healthy, eating healthy in an RV. We practice these habits consistently. It keeps us on track and we're going to share these tips with you. Three, two, one. Oh, this new crazy mother... submerge yourself into the culture and have whatever that city is known for, some of their famous food, we get it. So what we always do is we plan ahead. When we know we're going to be somewhere, we make that day our experience day so that all the days leading up to it, we eat healthy. And then when we're out in the city, we get exactly what we want to get. And we don't have any um, ill feelings or no problems. It works with our lifestyle. Tip number two is always having healthy food prepped and ready in your refrigerator in your RV so it's ready to go when you are ready to cook. So let's go down to our fridge. We recently just went shopping so we are really well stocked. I have vegetables ready to pull out and I have plenty of protein in here. So let's just go through this really quick. I have these containers that I love. Every time we shop, I get my vegetables in here and I wash them and trim them, whatever I need to do for that specific vegetable. So then when it's time, all I do is grab it and cook it or eat it raw. Depends on the vegetable, but you don't have to mess around with it. Ready to go. Um, a tip for meat. I really like these chicken tenders. They come really thin and small so I can just take it directly from the package and cook it. I don't need to trim it down. I don't need to butterfly it. The breasts come very large so sometimes that's extra work to get those prepared to a size that's quick cooking but these tenders are super fast. Tip number three, cook once, eat twice at least. Anytime you cook proteins, cook extra. So you can put it in the fridge and you'll have it ready so you know there's going to be a moment where you want to eat and you don't have access to cook on your propane or you don't have time or you don't have the energy quite frankly so right now we just got done walking we've walked about seven and a half miles so far today through new york city and we're starving so at lunch i cooked double i cooked double chicken i cooked double rice and it's in the fridge ready to go i'm gonna just toss mine on a salad so it's all raw veggies. Aaron's gonna have his chicken with some rice and a corn tortilla wrap, a little taco sandwich if you would. If you have if you have the access and the time, you can easily reheat it in a small skillet. Or if you don't have access to propane or you don't have time or nothing, the trick to eating it without heating it is to just take it out and let it sit on your countertop for 20 minutes to take the chill off. Tip number four, have a well-stocked pantry so that when you are using leftovers or coming up on a recipe on a whim, you have plenty of options to mix different flavors together to make it really tasty. So right now on our leftovers for dinner, on Aaron's taco sandwich wrap, I'm gonna use some paprika and chipotle powder. And for my salad, I found some pepita seeds 
And I'm going to put mint on my salad with just some vinegar, a simple vinaigrette. Um, but you definitely want to get a good stock pantry. So up here I have all of my spices, an entire bin of spices, and plenty of different vinegars, oils, seeds, you name it, canned goods. I will go through a different video and go through my pantry essentials just to cover your bases so that you can, like I said, either make leftovers reinvented or have some options for a quick recipe when you're not planning on it. So tip number four, well-stocked pantry. Tip number five, share your food. We just got to Artichoke Pizza and uh, this was six dollars. It looks amazing and we love to just go from place to place. It's like bar hopping for food. You get one thing and you share it and you experience it and it will last you, you know, two, three, four hours depending on how much you've eaten that day and what else is on your agenda that day. But part of eating is the experience and sharing it with your special someone. So why not make it last longer and spread out with some walks and get more in and it tastes better. So tip number five.